Castle 1801, another region rich with lore of Ashokta. East Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlets and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains. Why is it so? Why is the music like. <sighs> anyway, the quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with scary lakes, is as picturesque as can be of it. The area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will have proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, it certainly serves exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by the tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years, described them as horrid revenants. Heh, <laughs> revenants. That's like those skeleton things in Dragon Age. If you have played that game. Man, they're hard. They're like... <sighs> Man, when I met my first revenant, I was like... What? What is this? I, c I can't fight this. This is... This is... Meh. I digress. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp, burlap sacks, dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? They visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited... what? Erudite? Ah, they were comment about that too. That's... Urgh. I hate not knowing English words. I mean, they, the guys who made the, this game is, are Swedish. Well, one of them is Spanish, I guess. Yeah, I, I read their blog. So how do they know more English than I do? Urgh. Anyways, we stood at at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Dr Dr Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited a sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt. And like most of most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role, role, role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and Sabe who came from the west over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle. Ah, so that's the eagle thing, along with the great leaders of this country. <sighs> Man, that was a long note. Okay, yeah, I knew it. Okay, so one, okay, I need to be fast. Run, 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 run. Okay, and then the last one. Oh, come on, where are you? Oop. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! His fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watcher lie in the forest and is killing my trusty servants. 
it's just a trust your servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Willem and his men up to avoid fordering further further for for the investigation from the public. The white cell will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been held. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all for rot for all I care. Maybe I will feel them some wine. It would in a sense solve both of my problems. Regarding closing of the vine cellar vine cellar Brooks. Okay. Well Nope. In the closet. Oh shit. <laughs> Man, that was freaky. Freaky like uh, what? It's oh the <sighs> so even if I didn't even if I, even if I hadn't gone there that would I would have to no I would even if I had gone there I would be like I would find it locked man that always happens to me I think like okay this is the way I have to go so I'll go the other way then I figure out that I had to go the other way that and that while I was Ah, uh, how should I say it? I like that when there's multiple paths in games, I like I want to get everything, I suppose. So I try to go the way that is not the main path. So I so what I think is the main path, I avoid, and then I will keep regretting uh, because it's often like it's almost always it goes on for really really long the path I cho choose. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe this was the main path. Maybe I missed something. And, I would... and either I find something on the path I went that will like help me get on the main path, or I, or I just go back to there and just find out. Oh, oh, it's locked. Oh, now I have to go all the way back. Ah, I'm so stupid. Anyways, nah. oh, <sighs> no, no, it's. Mr. Face. And he's like, oh come on, you gotta be kidding me. Already? I just like, ah! I just started the game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I need to stop playing this. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. That was <sighs> that was scary. That was fucking scary. <sighs> oh oh man. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the first episode. Or well, I guess it's the end of Whatever episode this is, is, is. <sighs> oh, I can't believe that just happened. That was. Oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode, which is probably going to be a while, unless I get the time to do this this weekend. Because my Swedish friends will come over on Tuesday, so I guess I have some time. But, I don't know, I'll see how difficult, how much stuff there is to edit. <sighs> see you guys later. <laughs>